Chloe Carmichael, clinical psychologist, give us a sense. The mother's pregnant, there are other children in the home. What horror must she be going through? Well, of course, it's a terrifying situation um, in a situation like this when your daughter goes missing and you have no idea how this could have happened. When we think about situations like this, we can think about coping strategies. The only types of coping strategies that she could possibly really use would be to stay, number one, proactive. Um, if there's anything that she can do so she doesn't just slide into a feeling of helplessness. Also, in times like this, if the family is religious, turning to your faith has been shown in psychology to be a protective factor when situations become unbearable, as I'm sure the situation is. Chloe Carmichael, we can understand, you know, at this point, there's no one named as a suspect. We have no idea. She's a missing young lady at this point. But you can understand being looked at under the glare of law enforcement spotlight. Well, of course, and actually, I would think that the father would welcome this attention. Absolutely, the, the protective instinct of the father should actually want to aid law enforcement and support them as they do their job. And of course, the most logical thing in the world for them to do would be to clear him. And if he's not allowing them to clear him by, uh, by supporting the investigation, then he's actually impeding the investigation. And I hope he understands that. Wow. Chloe Carmichael, a nine-year-old, what's the mindset if, a, if, if someone you recognize comes in and says, come with me, I need you to help me with something, are you inclined to go? Well, Pat, I think that would depend a lot upon what the parents had told her, but I would find it very difficult to believe that a nine-year-old wouldn't realize that there would be something really wrong with a stranger coming up and asking her to, to go away. It sounds, again, like this little girl has a history of actually being very responsible and of, in fact, looking out after the younger kids on the block. She doesn't have a history of threatening to run away. She doesn't sound like she's dramatic or any of the other types of behaviors that would lead you to think she's She's probably just camping out in the woods somewhere. So this definitely seems like a great violation in the pattern of behavior, and that is concerning.